Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, I'm going to talk about LangChain. So consider this as a simple free crash course on LangChain basically because it involves everything from understanding LangChain, what is it, how does it work, what are the components of LangChain and also I'll show you at the end a simple tutorial on how LangChain basically works. So let's get started. This is my first uh, uh, slide on LangChain. Uh, so we need to start from basics, right? So it's a, it's all about building AI applications. As you can see the emoji, it's, it's kind of scary. Building AI applications is not an easy task. It's a very complex and daunting task for your developers and AI engineers because it involves a lot of processes step by step, starting from data collection to data processing to feature engineering, model training, you know, selecting a more proper model for your AI application, hyperparameter tuning. So all these steps now add an extra layer of challenge and it requires a lot of effort from your AI engineers and developers, right? And everything is kind of segregated. You, you need to connect everything to build a proper AI application, which is, as you can see, it's it's very daunting task. It's, it's very scary. So uh, that is why uh, I'm coming to the part, I'm coming to say that that's why we needed a proper framework. But you might say, hey, Pawan, we have LLMs, no? LLMs are just enough to build a proper AI applications. Exactly not. LLMs are not just enough because you you need to have some tools, a proper framework to help you build AI applications um, that are you know robust and work as expected. What LLMs are basically made up of? They are made up of structured, unstructured data, and then the architecture, that is the transform architecture proposed by Google long back in 2017, and some kind of supervised, unsupervised training, and that's how LLMs are basically made up of. But we still lack the proper robust framework to help connect everything together to help you build AI applications, right? So LLMs are just one piece of the puzzle is what I want to say here, who will take care of the data management part, the infrastructure part, the integration layer, application logic, the, uh, the you know, uh, the vector database connection, the embeddings part, um, the vector search or the semantic search part, everything is kind of very fragmented. Uh, that's why LLMs are not just, you know, they are just, they can be just one piece of the puzzle to build robust AI applications.